Hi, I'm Dr. Sanaji. I'm a pediatric infectious disease physician at Loma Linda University Children's Hospital. I'm here to answer your questions about the COVID vaccine. We need this vaccine in order to prevent the spread of this deadly disease to prevent our hospitals from being overrun with patients and overwhelming our hospital staff. And that's really what we need the vaccine for so we can also then sort of get back to a normal uh, life. Right now, the vaccine has not been tested in children and children should not get it just yet, but Pfizer has enrolled kids down to 12 in their trial. We have to wait for the FDA to decide on what age it will give approval for. Most likely they'll give approval for patients 18 and up, they might give approval for kids 12 and up. And if they do, they do give approval for 12 and up, then we should try to vaccinate those kids as well. So the first vaccines that may come to the market are mRNA vaccines, and these vaccines do not cause the disease uh, because they don't code for the virus. They actually just code for a, a specific protein that our immune system recognizes to prevent you from getting the illness. Again, we're gonna give the vaccine to the highest risk populations at first and then lower and lower risk as we move on into 2021. If you're in the 20 year old age range and you can work from home and you don't have to go out a lot, you're probably gonna be in the last group to get the vaccines. But for now, if you're in a group that is older, in a nursing home, you should get the vaccine. Uh, if you're a healthcare worker, you should get the vaccine. As this rolls out to essential workers and things like that, you should get it when your group becomes available.